Good morning, folks. We've got Earth events, incoming solar wind, a number of space news stories, and then we'll bring it home to address the alleged 11,000 scientists warning of a climate emergency. Beginning at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last day on our star very quiet. The coronal holes continue to rotate through while we lack any considerable active regions. The solar wind from the coronal hole is expected to arrive this weekend, but for now the stream is all quiet and geomagnetic conditions are calm as well. Quick look at the top quake of the last day, 5.6 blot echo striking the low velocity zone beneath Guatemala. Let's now go across the world to where the cyclone is bearing down on Bangladesh. Today is the day for both the northern Bay of Bengal and Vietnam as a typhoon approaches from the east. Let's go over to the USA because in case you haven't heard, the jet stream dip is going to intensify next week. Enjoy any last remnants of warmth now that if you sit in the Arctic plunge region, the blue, there won't be much to enjoy in a few days. Let's go to our first animation here. This one by NASA showing the surface level ozone data worldwide and of particular interest is the sunlight effect as we go day to day. It's the sweeping brightness that crosses the rectangle. That is the solar photo ionization effect literally creating ozone out of the already there atmospheric components. Up next, might have a little oops from Hubble and NASA. They say they honed in on some stars in the Reflection Nebula, NGC 1333, settled within the Perseus molecular cloud. But then they say this image comes to us from a galaxy with 300 billion stars. First, this proto-galaxy is not its own. It's a satellite sitting only 1,000 light years away. Remember, the Milky Way is 100,000 light years across. So in addition to being one of the satellites of the Milky Way, it has nowhere near 300 billion stars. Oops. In the realm of sneaky plasma in the cosmos, we find the sparse, diffuse, and very difficult to see plasma spread populations around and permeating the structures we know to exist. It has been a heck of a struggle for cosmologists to nail down the dust content, but this is another level of finding diamonds in the rough. Hate to go to another oop so quickly, but in one of the deepest studies done of early gas and material agglomeration, they say that the first population of stars came together much more quickly than their models envisioned. As familiar a concept as the quasars and galaxies sitting too big, too early in the heavens. But in the stellar realm it's even worse, because these studies should really always inform the reader about things like the Methuselah star, currently estimated to be 14.5 billion years old, yes, older than the Big Bang and it's not the only one. And when trying to teach the public about star formation, or God forbid their students, I really do wish they would give the full story. Now from the oops to a stiff backhand, we've got a team refining the Hubble constant with which there remains tremendous cosmic tension with other measurements. But seeing as one controversy wasn't enough for these now well-seasoned shenaniganites, they are today claiming that the expansion rate per megaparsec is 66.6 .6 kilometers per second, published in the top astrophysical journal for all to see. Give me a break. Now let's bring it home because I'm sure you have heard about this new climate propaganda. 11,000 scientists sign off on the warning of a climate emergency. Well folks, I had just begun running through the list when someone sent me the Rebel News detailing of it. This was well done. There was no more need for me and you should all check this video out if you can. This was an online petition that anyone could access. And yes, it included 11,000 people but with tons of students and people from other fields. And when I say other fields, I don't just mean other fields of science, like accountants, gym teachers, voice coaches, literally a balderdash presentation, if not outright fraud. And if we're letting in non-climate scientists, then the hoax camp has them tripled. The difference here is that you must hold a science degree to get in on this one, and the number of PhDs in the hoax camp is almost as much as the entire fraudulent 11,000 number that's full of non-experts. Simple fact. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Catherine is starting the giveaways on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Check the links in the description box below the video because we have lots of copycats on those platforms. Also, this weekend only, if you plan to get the children's books for anyone this holiday, take advantage of the shipping discount this weekend. We are both short on books and on time later in the month, so guaranteed arrival by the holiday will end before Thanksgiving. 
We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.